Okay, so today we're going to take a look at the division law of exponents. Um, it's a similar method to the multiplication law, which we just learned in the last video. Um, but let's get started because there are some differences. Okie dokie. All right, so just to recap um, using the multiplication law as an example, if we had a number, let's say x squared, and we're timesing this by x to the third power, the rule is that we have to add these exponents. As long as we have the same base, which in this case we've got an x and an x, so they're definitely the same, um, we can just add across and add these exponents. That gives us x to the fifth power. Because, and we can explain this a little further, because x squared is really x times x, and x to the third power is x times x times x. And so when we look at these, we've got five x's here all multiplied, so that's our x to the fifth power. So it's very important to remember that when we are dealing with the multiplication law, then what we have to do is we have to add the exponents. However, when we are dealing with the division law of exponents, then what we need to do here is we need to subtract the exponents. So we're going to take a look why just now. So if we've got 2 to the fourth power and we are dividing by 2 to the third power, the law tells us that what we need to do is we need to subtract the exponents. And we need to do it in this order. We subtract the second exponent from the first exponent. So this gives us 2 to the first power, which we should know is actually just 2. So if we look at the work that goes into this, we would take our 2 to the fourth power. And this can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And we're going to divide by 2 to the third power. Now, division and fractions are pretty much the same. So when we've got a fraction, it's really talking about division. So we're going to write this division as though it's a fraction. So divided by 2 to the third, that would be 2 times 2 times 2. And what we've got here is we've got, we've got common factors on the top and on the bottom. So we can cancel them out because each of these pairs equals 1. So as I cancel them out, I'm left with that 2 all on its own. So let's take another example, but let's mix in some of the multiplication law rules and also the division law rules as well. So let's say we've got 3 squared times 3 to the fifth power, and we're dividing by 3 to the third power. Now let's take a look what happens here. Again, if we're using PEMDAS, we've got multiplication and division. Those two are equal power, so we, we've got to basically do whichever one comes first. So here our division comes before, sorry, our, our multiplication comes before our division here. So we're going to tackle this piece first. So 3 to the second times 3 to the fifth. The 3 is the same base. That's great for us because we can use the multiplication law. That gives us 3 to the seventh power. So all we did was just add those two exponents. That comes from the 2 plus the 5. And now we're left with divide by 3 to the third power. Well, the division law, as we learn up here, over here, tells us that when we're dividing numbers that have the same base, we subtract the second exponent. So this becomes 3 to the 7 minus 3, which equals 3 to the fourth power. That's our answer here. Okay, one final example that I want to give involves a negative number. So if we had something like 5 to the divided by 5 to the tenth power, in this case we would we've got a common base, so we keep the base and we do 6 minus the 10 because this is the order that we have to subtract. So this gives us an answer of 5 to the negative 4 power. And so that's fine that we've got a negative exponent. That's perfectly acceptable. But it's six and subtract the 10 and end up with an answer of 5 to the negative 4. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so most of these vocabulary words and phrases are the same. We've just added the division law, but it's 
very important that we remember these and that we don't forget what these words and phrases mean. Okie dokie. Okay, next. I know last time when I did the multiplication law of exponents, I spoke about different formulas. You know, strictly when I mentioned the um, exchange, currency exchanges, those would be linear formulas. And so exponents wouldn't be used in those cases. The same with Fahrenheit to Celsius, that's a linear conversion. And so exponents wouldn't be used. But I brought those equations up to to segue into some of the more complicated life expectancy or geology formulas for drilling for oil. Um, but really there's so many other um, real world um, uses of exponents and, and especially formulas and equations. So um, a couple of others that I was thinking about are physics for waves, sound waves and energy and light waves. There's many different formulas that involve exponents and we really need to know how to handle those exponents when we're dividing by numbers with the same base and also multiplying, so physics and also chemistry. Also in, in chemistry, you know, when we're dealing with compounds um, and different elements and um, reactions, there are equations where we use exponents to we use exponents and the laws of exponents to evaluate different outcomes from investigations. So that's real world in brief. Let's move on a little bit. Okay, so here are some examples. So let's take a look at these. Um, we're gonna go through them. Please uh, continue to take notes on these as well. So in the first one, we've got five to the seventh power divided by five to the second power. So we have the same base with this. So what we can do is we can go straight in here. I'm just going to create another layer. We can go straight in here, and because we have the same base and we remember the rules, we just do 5 to the 7th minus 2. So that gives us 5 to the 5th power. That's our answer. And if we needed to, we could explain more fully by doing 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. That's six of them, we need seven. So that's our five to the seventh. And we're dividing by five to the second power, which is five times five. So now if we cancel these out, that leaves us with five to the fifth power on top. Five times itself, five times, that's our answer. Okay, for the second one, we've got three to the second power divided by three, and that's really three to the first power. So we can just do this. So that gives us three to the first power, which of course is just three. Now in the very next one, we don't have a number, we've got a variable, but that's fine. So this is x to the third divided by x to the fourth. So same rule, just subtract those exponents. And that gives us x to the negative one. Be very careful, this is not the first power but that is your answer, x to the negative one. Okay, so moving on, let's take a look at some of these questions and answers. So I'm gonna put them up first, here we go. And what we can do from here is, if you pause the video right now and give these a shot yourself, then we'll come back in a minute, press play, and we'll go through the answers together and see how we did. Okay. Okay, so we're back. Let's take a look at some of these answers. So here we've got 10 to the 12 divided by 10 to the 20th. Now it's the same base, which is good for us. So we just subtract these exponents. So 12 subtract 20 is negative eight. So be very careful here, make sure we have the right exponents. Okay, over here, again, we've got the same base of 10 to the 15th divided by, sorry, y to the 15th divided by y to the seventh. So again, just subtract them, that gives us y to the eighth power. Okay, finally over here, this is still division, um, and so we do exactly the same thing. So six to the nine divided by six to the fifth, we just subtract that five from the nine and that gives us six to the fourth power. So those are our answers. Okay, next it is your turn. 
here are your questions okay so pause the video and go through these remember we won't be going through the answers after this but these will be for you to do on your worksheet which hopefully you've downloaded at mathfolio.com slash vid sheet um, so you can submit these to your teacher so press pause now and complete these okay so finally we've got a monster question and usually I give you a lot of clues here so let's take a look at this one and see if I need to give you many clues okay so the only thing I'll say is we've got a mix of operations and we also possibly need to break down that 25 give it a shot fill it in on your sheet and submit it to your teacher thanks again for watching